Right, so a bit of a distraction there, but yeah, this is what I'm talking about. There's a rebellion that happens, and, uh, well, this is what sort of happens. These angry mobs, they have 25 attack power, and they have the same health as about one of my infantry units, and my, bear in mind, my, uh, my infantry units have an attack of, like, 75, and the tanks have an attack of, like, 50 or so, and the regular infantry have 63. But anyhow, for whatever reason, this happens where uh, the the mobs will actually win because I can't control my squads and you have this happen. So my commandos are going to some place and they'll they'll just sort of walk right next to the angry mobs and they won't shoot at them. But uh, yeah, they'll just sort of lose like that. It's really weird. And the thing is that I have a I have an approval rating of 73% too. So yeah, the squads will battle each other. The uh, the angry mobs will, for whatever reason, again, group up faster than my troops, and my troops lose just due to that detail because they get focused fired upon by, say, everything else. And it's really, really weird. So now, hopefully this time, because last time I didn't build the extra, like, four barrackses, um, so hopefully this time we'll be able to win. But yeah, they usually scatter these mobs very, very fast, like, uh, or maybe the icons just disappear because they, they overlap with each other. But anyhow, my, my squads, for whatever reason, again, they, they just don't seem to be able to win that easily. And also this happened last time as well, where it sort of went peaceful, and then um, I think the, the people, like the, the rebellious people, come back just randomly as well. It's really weird. Right, so at least we're close to the objective, so hopefully this will be just a, a fast mission like such. But again, I mean, it's just weird. It's like, why? Right, and the port is just sort of selling things at a faster rate now, so at least that is that. And yeah, there's like one squad here. I think what happens is that this like w like a one or two squads come from the rural area here, and once these uh, tanks and stuff, once they go back to the bases, they either just despawn and then they just sort of remain despawned, or something along those lines happen and they just never they, they never fight the rebels. So then the rebels just sort of take away, they blow up the palace, and the game ends. It's really really weird. Um, the other thing is that like yeah our. our our money supply should be increasing as well right now, but because of the of how the fact that like only three out of the um, the amount of teamsters over here work, and it causes another problem. Well, at least hopefully more people have a uh, housing over here. Oh yeah, and sometimes they prefer to live inside the shacks rather than uh, the tenements, for some reason again, and that causes a few problems as well. So let's actually see how are we doing on unemployment and. Uh, yeah, so there's, uh, there's evidently a hundred and some open jobs because some of these plantations don't have uh, a lot of workers and the unemployed people just won't man them. So yeah, very, very weird. Right, so there's say, not too many things that we can do now to really influence these, uh, these areas. I mean, they have tenements, people just don't apparently want to live in them. Um, one thing that I could try here is that I could buy some, like, just country houses in the middle here of these farm rows. And hopefully this will make it so that these, um, these row areas are, say, slightly more attractive. So pluck them down, and I think we'll also have a few here next to the mines. And this, of course, is just sort of bleeding cash right now as well despite the fact that we also have a time limit on doing this mission. So, I mean, hopefully all of these things will help out, but again, the, the game is, for at least this mission, being really, really odd with its uh, requirements and things like that. And I think we'll just fire off this uh, ugly solution thing, just to get those extra people, because we will um, we'll need to expand even more now in just a little while. Right, so at least the game didn't bug out here, and at least we've won the uprising. And I believe what this will do is that it'll, of course, kill off the population in respect to like, like the these people over here. Exciting. But it'll just effectively kill off all the environmentalists, which are causing these problems. So at least that is good. And work will just sort of get back to normal. And currently, I hope those these teams do is actually do their jobs now, and hopefully they'll just sort of export things faster here. Yeah, so again, there's like these big um, deposits of things that are just not being moved. And the Teamsters want to prioritize moving, say, like the, the, the starvate, the crops over here, rather than those. Right, so now we have some cash once more. So let's build a few apartment buildings for the people over here. 
So I'll come over here and we'll just build them next to the roads because the roads give them a slight bonus to um, their happiness quality. And yet this is what will happen when you um, enact that sort of uh, immigration policy thing where it'll just throw down like a, a, literally lines upon lines of people. And I think some of these people have jobs and some of them don't. Some of them, yeah, are farmers. Some of them are finding jobs, and that will effectively shut down where that'll fill up all of our uh, open jobs category, except for, say, some of the higher ones. And that will just increase, like, the, increase the amount of people that we have on the island, really, by a ton. Right, so at this stage, hopefully, more of the. Uh, the manufactured goods will come down to the stock and then be shipped off. Right, because I check once again, again, the high priority goods like the steel mill stuff and the caskets of rum will be just sort of sitting by. And I'm sure the rum or the, the cigarette factory also has a big backlog here of just, again, stuff sitting out in the middle of nowhere. And I think it's either one of the two things over here. And because of the Teamsters not really doing their thing. So I think, uh, I don't really know, I don't even know at this point. Maybe we just need more Teamsters? Is that really the solution to here? And I mean, of course the apartments will start building and they'll, uh, they'll finish building very soon. But nothing really seems to solve this problem. And at the same time, I mean, I am spending, like, all of my money doing this. Hmm. Let's check how many homeless people are there. There's about a hundred of each. Right, well, at least due to the um, cabin farms, it looks like this area is, f and of course the immigration wave, this area seems to be filled up now, so at least that is good. Right, so at least all of the jobs that uh, people can work at are taken, and our research is going fine, so at least we're on time to complete the mission. But again, there's just this huge backlog of stuff here, it's really, really weird. So at least I think that'll fire off. Old boy, I just found myself in a very big... The Politburo have... And yeah, we can we can do a few of these easy missions, which will just send us college graduates, which we can, of course, assign to research, which makes it slightly helpful. But I think for this wave of um, these college graduates, I'm actually going to build a power plant right now, so we can build, say, a hospital and some other stuff. So we'll do that right away. And we'll get those going. So yeah, that'll be that, and as you can see, our, our exports are increasing by an absolute ton right now. But nonetheless, still, there's this problem of uh, shipping. Presidente, I... Yeah, so there we go. Now we can build a nuclear program, and I'm just going to try to do that as fast as we can. So uh, it's going to use a nuclear, where it's going to use a power plant anyway. So that'll be built up, and we'll get that going next. And that'll of course finish the that that objective, which will be really rather nice, seeing as how it'll get us out of this uh, scenario. And I mean, I have to future-proof our our island here as well, so I think I'll build another apartment. And yet more protesters. Let's see what they want. They want a lighthouse, so that's not bad. We can do that easily. And the lighthouse just gives you more trade deals. I think we've seen this once before, but um, it's it's quite honestly not worth its price. I mean, but I guess it'll sort of finish off that objective, so we'll build it. Mr. President. And we just built it, so now it should disappear. There we go. Right, so power plants up. That'll get uh, some guy to work in it, and eventually it'll produce electricity. And as soon as this boatload of crap just gets sold, we can, uh, we can cash in on 50 more grand, which we can spend on, of course, more things. Yeah, so it kind of sucks though, because this um, this whole apartment craze and the amount of people that we just sort of have to sustain in such a short amount of time really crowds out the island over here with just these ugly apartment buildings here. 
Right, so that'll be that. And then now, of course, we can build a nuclear program, and we'll just put that in some... Um, so we'll put that right here, I guess. And once that is done, uh, I think that'll just sort of finish up this nuclear program thing. Right, so power should be turned on as President, soon as... My career as a weatherman. Oh. Great. Tornadoes. Right, so I guess we'll have to wait out of this, too. Not really too much I can do here. But I, I just... Back in the game. I just hope that, uh... Yeah, that didn't do too much damage. I just hope that this uh, structure will be built and we can just sort of finish off the scenario. Because, man, I've been spending so much time trying to film this. And it's uh, it's absolutely frustrating due to those uprisings, too. I mean, the approval rating is, like, sky high for what it's worth. And great, this area is on strike, so our, scare, sir, our cigar factory isn't functioning. Well, at least we get another swarm of cash, so at least that's good. And great, the steel mill and all of the heavy production structures are not functioning. So hopefully once this gets built just right now, that'll, yeah, that'll you complete the objective. Uh, Tropico and the world are grateful for your leadership, having prevented a war and all that. Plus, we now have a great big shiny nuclear missile! Well, at least uh, I hope you guys have, you know, found some fun, like, seeing this city or this island being built on. Because that is pretty much that mission. And believe, like, that one was, like, by far one of the most frustrating missions um, here. So that finishes that, and I suppose uh, that'll, be, that'll be it for this episode. I hope uh, next time we get to do something a bit more of a funner mission, but I'll see you guys then.